Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Rebecca Yao. Prime Minister Datuk Sri Abdullah Ahmad Badawi has advised consumers not to waste food and to play a role to help law enforcers monitor prices of goods. He says the public should report to enforcement agencies if they have information on smuggling, hoarding and cheating of prices. He also says the government has taken appropriate measures to mitigate the food supply shortage problem by allocating 4 billion ringgit to ensure adequate food supply for the people. AMNO veteran Tunku Razali Hamza says it is time for the government to review printing laws to give more freedom to the press. Speaking to reporters today, he said the country is no longer fighting communist rebels and any draconian law, including those which restrict the press, should be reviewed. Tunku Razali says he also supports MCA President Datuk Seri Ong Karting's call for the Home Ministry to waive the annual renewal for printing permits imposed on newspapers. Penang Deputy Chief Minister 2 Dr P Ramasamy says there is no political agenda behind the state government's program to give 223 Tamil school pupils free spectacles worth 9000 ringgit. He says it was a social activity for poor pupils that was approved during this previous administration. Dr Ramasamy who heads the education portfolio told reporters Monday that the program was initiated by Gerakan's former state executive councillor Datuk Dr Toh Kin Woon. He was responding to Deputy Education Minister Dr. Wee Ka Siong's comment on Saturday that schools should not be turned into a political platform. Malaysia Airlines has launched its new product that allows passengers to travel to any domestic destination for zero fare. However, passengers must make bookings within the next 14 days and pay the airport tax and surcharges. Mass Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer Datuk Seri Idris Jala said the airline has set aside 1 million tickets for this offer. And because we feel confident about what we intend to do here, we've already ordered 55 new jets for the future because we believe we will be able to grow using this methodology. And that's why you notice the everyday law fare is applicable domestically and also applicable to ASEAN Plus. And this is where all the narrow body jets will be deployed. He says we that tickets purchased are not refundable and the travel dates cannot be changed. The offer is valid for travel between June 10th and December 14. These tickets can only be obtained through the MAS website at www.malaysiaairlines.com. The smart tunnel in Kuala Lumpur will be closed to traffic from 11pm Tuesday until 6am Wednesday to facilitate routine inspection of the motorway tunnel system. In a statement Monday, the Stormwater Management and Road Tunnel Project advised the public to call in helpline at 1300 887 188 for inquiries about the closure. For more updates, log on to staronline.tv. I'm Rebecca Yeo. Thanks for watching.